Ladies and gents, Andy TV here with some more Pokemon Crystal. Here we are in the Cinnabar Seafoam Gym and we are going to fight Blaine. Because he's living in the cave because he's homeless. And he's been living here for about a year apparently because the volcano in Cinnabar erupted about a year ago in this game. And he still says the stupid burn heal line. Okay. But yeah, Blaine, the second to last gym leader of this LP. He is going to start things off with... A Macargo, LOL Macargo, level 45, with the moves Curse, Smog, Flamethrower, and Rock Slide. Seriously, just use a Water type move, and you should be all set. Or a Ground type move, but you need a Water type move to get here, so yeah, not a problem at all. And the next thing he's going to be sending out is Rapid Ash, his Ace, level 50. With the moves Quick Attack, Fire Spin, Fury Attack, and Fire Blast. Nothing to worry about either. I mean, it's going to be fast, but seriously, Fury Attack. I mean, Quick Attack could be decent for revenge killing, I guess, but Fury Attack and Fire Spin. I mean, if this was Generation 1, Fire Spin would be uh, more problematic to deal with, but here it's just... No. And next up, ooh, level 50, nice. Next up on the list, which is his last Pokemon, it is going to be Magmar, level 45, with the moves Thunder Punch, Fire Blast, Sunny Day, and Confuse Ray. This one could be a bit more of a problem to take care of because it has Sunny Day and Fire Punch, so water types could be screwed, but Lantern is no ordinary water type, so yeah. So, Magmar is the most threatening thing on this team, but it's not that big of a deal either. And that's it for this gym battle. Seriously, that was easy. The last one won't be so easy. Yeah, and he's homeless, but he's still going to give us money. Or we robbed him. One of the two. I don't know. Oh well, we got the volcano badge. And the gym guy is here this time. Also, uh... And Heart Gold Soul Silver, this gym has trainers, and it's more of a puzzle. But whatever. And this guy. Um. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Cinnabar Gym was gone, so. He, this guy had a year to find the stupid cave. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Well, let's just organize my team a bit. And we have some trainers to take care of. And it's actually the last set of random trainers for us to fight, which is pretty exciting. And I'm just going to be running away from these wild battles because I can. But uh, yeah, this is the last set of trainers and this is pretty much a sign that the LP is really, really close to ending. I mean, we do have a few things to do, namely uh, get our last badge, but... Yeah, we have some other things to do to take care of as well. But, yeah, this LP is really close to finishing, and I'm really glad and feeling really weird about it because I've enjoyed this LP a lot, but, yeah. This game is fun, and I'm really glad I got a chance to LP it. Yeah, I'm really glad I got a chance to LP it. And Leaf, you're almost level 51, which is pretty nice, pretty nice. I'm really feeling it because I've been playing Smash Bros quite a bit because I got the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros and I've I've been trying to get better with Shulk because I want to I want to make him one of my main characters. I mean, there's going to be Ness and Wind Waker Link or Toon Link whatever. But yeah, those three are my mains. And uh yep. I've been doing decent with Shulk. And Surf's no longer the only HM move to use in water. That's true, but it is the best HM move to use in water. Best water type HM move, at least. I mean, Waterfall is decent, especially in later generations where it's a physical attack. And it can cause flinching, but in this game, Surf is the better water type move, in my opinion. And Meryl, you don't see too many of those. Okay, then. Let's just slam jam this thing. And I remember when I was recording this, like, I don't know, a few hours ago. Yeah, this this swimmer sends out a Lapras. I thought she was going to send out something like an Azumarill. I was not expecting a Lapras, but Lapras is cool. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much. It. I mean, I've used the Lapras before, and I really enjoyed it. And okay, level 51, nice. And Leaf is going to be learning Safeguard, which protects the entire party from status conditions that aren't confusion or attract. Yeah, those are the only things that can't block it. And I think it blocks it for five turns. And yep, Safeguard is decent. I mean, it's annoying when legendaries use it because you can't put them to sleep or paralyze them or anything until it's gone, but here, not really worth it either. And Wing Attack takes care of Meryl. Sweet. Only a few more trainers left. Now that is exciting. Except, I don't know. I mean, once all those trainers are gone, all that's left really is a couple more battles. And let's just head over to Route 19. And there aren't that many trainers like there were in uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. Because if I remember correctly, in Red, Blue, and Yellow, there's like a group of four trainers huddled next to each other for no reason. But here, there aren't that many. And you, have you ever gone swimming in the sea at night? Ah, uh, no I haven't, because that sounds terrifying. I'm not the best swimmer, like, I can swim, but not that well. And just... Swimming at night, that just sounds creepy. Because it's like... Ugh. Ah. Uh, like, for those of you that don't know, I have a fear of octopus. And, like, just swimming at night would freak me out because I would get worried about seeing an octopus. Ugh. Like, there's, like, a few octopus related things that don't scare me and octillery is one of them but I think that's about it actually and octorox from the Zelda games but everything else that's octopus related scares the crap out of me I actually remember once in one of my classes one of my friends was watching a video during our break about octopus food and I actually had to leave the classroom because I was on the verge of vomiting the more you know the more you know Oh, Swimmer Dawn. Dawn is the name of the female protagonist of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. At least the default name. And yeah. Wing attack this thing and it should be going down, down, down. Seeking is interesting. Doesn't it get Lightning Rod as its hidden ability? I think it does. And, yep, quick swim between Fusion and Seafoam Islands. Yep, it's not that far. So, it's there's really nothing to worry about. Okay. And, yep, we are actually pretty close to Fusion City. All we need to do is just swim north. And, uh, Swimmer... Swimmer Tucker with a Shelter. Shelter is an interesting Pokemon. We don't know what's inside that little clamshell of it. Of it. It's Clam shell. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but whatever. And next up is a cloister, actually. Okay. Cloister is pretty cool. And let's just return on this because cloister. It's pretty bulky defensively, even though it's not the best defensive Pokemon. I mean, its purpose is to be good at defense, but in more recently. Like, with 5th gen on, it's become more offense-oriented because of Shell Smash and Icicle, Spear, and Rock Blast, and Skill Link, and all of those shenanigans. So, yeah. I think there's only one more trainer left. Yep, this is the last trainer. Okay, swimming, I'm lousy. Yeah, I'm kind of lousy at swimming, too, but at least I can swim. And what do you have to send out? Oh, four Pokemon. Holy crap, that's a lot. Seedra. Okay. I tend to prefer Kingdra more in terms of design. And even Horsey. I think Seedra just looks weird. Oh, well. And goodbye, you. What else does this guy have? A Tentacool. Okay. Not too much of a problem. 
No, I never noticed, but uh, tentacles, uh, tentacles are blue when they should be white. But then again, that's probably palette limitations. Oh well. Well, they're not white. They're more like a light brown, whitish color, gray, whatever. And tentacruel, you should be going down. I really think Tentacruel's design looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know, it just, it just looks cool. And a gold, a Goldeen, really? Oh well. Goldeen can go down. And, uh, yep. That's it for the last random trainer fight of this LP. All that's left are the more important fights that await us. And, uh, yep. Yeah, you couldn't win at all. Okay, what do you have to say? Might be bad at swimming, but I love to see. Okay. Okay, then. And we are pretty much near Fuchsia City. If you remember, this part was blocked off when we arrived at Fuchsia City, but... Yeah, they, these two people cleared the path. Which is pretty nice. And, now I'm gonna be heading back to Cinnabar Island, and I will give you guys a little treat. Let's just head over here. And as you can hear, I'm playing the GB Sounds version of Cinnabar Island's theme in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. And who are you? Well, it's plain to see that you're a trainer. Yep, this is Blue. My name's Blue. Yeah, I just said that. I was once a champion, although it was for only a short time. That meddling red did me in. Anyway, what do you want? You want to challenge me or something? Okay. So Pretty arrogant sounding, but he's not in the mood for a battle. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that, a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can lose in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, Come to the Viridian Gym. I'll take you on then. And he teleports. How? Well, he does have an Alakazam, but... Yeah, Lance can teleport. He can teleport. Is that like a... A champion thing or something? Why can't I teleport? Oh, whatever. Well, back here in Cinnabar... Not Cinnabar. Viridian... Uh, Viridian City, because... One thing. I didn't go inside the Pokemon Center when we were exploring this place. So let's just talk to these people. Uh, what do you have to say? There are no gym trainers at the Viridian Gym. In Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, there is there are trainers, and there's actually a puzzle as well. But here, not any of that. The, the gym in Cinnabar is gone. One who became a Blaine. He's homeless, and I took his money. Okay. Yep. And let's just head over to the gym now. And... Let's see what he has to say, yeah, um, yeah, this is actually a really challenging gym, so, yep. And they don't spoil the name. Oh well, that's always been their thing with the Viridian Gym. But, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode of Pokemon Crystal, and next episode we're gonna challenge Blue at the Viridian Pokemon Gym. Later! Let's go in now. Bye!